zanga bangan Begi kabangan Kerizeli span Push up press up pan Umama nko zanga bangan Begi kabangan Kerizeli span Push up press up pan Teaching color gut Teaching color gut Teaching color gut What's happening everybody? About two minutes and then Costa is gonna join us So yeah Hope you guys can hear me. Hopefully we'll connect this time because last time I had trouble with Trezor. But hopefully today things shall be better. Feel me? Feel me? Salute. Thank you. Gotta dehydrate. Are you guys dehydrating? How you guys been? How's the corona been treating you guys? Yo, yo. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's happening? Hopefully nothing is gonna be weird today. Waiting on Costa to see what's good. Is the music loud or is it cool? No. Yo, what up, Gobs? How's the music? Is it is it loud? How's the music? In th- All right, cool, cool, cool. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Do you guys have any questions that you want to ask him that I should ask? What do you guys say? Hey, Costa just joined. What up, Costa? Costa just joined. Just wait. What up, my brother? What's up, bro? How you doing? How you doing, man? <laughs> Can't complain, thank you. So easy, so easy, so easy, man. Welcome, welcome to Urban Lifestyle. Um, thank you. Our, our viewers have been waiting for this moment. Are we? So thank you for giving us this time, man. <laughs> nah, thank you for having me, bro. Thank you for having me. Bro. Shout out. How's the corona been? How's it treating you, bro? Oh, uh, hey, man. I'm pretty much over it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. To be honest, like, you know, but um, if anything, I'm just happy that we're adapting with the times. Sure, um, sure, as, sure. As a team, we're still, we're still moving strong, you know? Sure, 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 sure. Well, I mean, let's get right into it, you know what I mean? Um, the viewers, they've got a lot that they want to know, yeah. you know. But personally, I want to know, Costa, the journey... You know what I mean? From Costa to him being the guy that he is right now. Yeah. Sure. Well, I mean, if anything, bro, obviously, okay, most people already know this. I started as a dancer, you know? Sure, 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 sure. Um, so that's definitely how I managed to get inside the entertainment industry. Um, but then uh, from there, it was just a matter of like navigating how I wanted to, you know, get into the music industry and get into it properly, if that makes sense. Sure, sure, sure. So, um, to cut a long story short, you know, um, via a lot of like uh, trial and error, I'd say, you know, we managed to eventually uh, figure out a a way to like relate to the South African market more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it, was, it was never an easy, easy like um, journey. 
I don't sure. think anyone's journey is technically easy. I feel like everyone deals with some form of struggle, you know. No, for and, sure, um, for sure, for sure. Yeah, man. I've, if anything, bro, I'm just like I'm grateful to be where I am right now. Okay, okay. So when did you make that decision, man, from dancer to to rap? Because I mean, the whole of South Africa, we really knew you as the dancer. You know what I'm saying? Personally, yeah, yeah. as well. I was like, okay, yo, who's that white dude that always in the videos? You know, yo, that dude is dope. You know what I mean? So it yeah. was you were always that outstanding, you know, outstanding guy who's always you know popping out from the rest. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So when did that transition go from? Okay, you know what? I see this dancing thing, right? But mm -hmm. what about this rapping thing? Bro, I'll be honest with you. It it was it, it started with the conversation I had with uh, my boy Tumi Kladi. Sure. We we were putting out these choreography videos on YouTube, right? Okay. And then the one day I texted him and I'm like, bro, how do we get our choreography videos on TV? Like, how can I get my video on Channel O? Because we're shooting our choreography videos like they music videos. You know what I mean? Sure, 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 sure. And and that's when he hit me with that like, yo the only way is for us to own the music that we dance into, you know? So either we make our own beats or sure, you know, we make sure, our own sure, song sure. and dance to it. Sure. And basically, that's how, we, that's how we got in the studio and we made, we made uh, played our very first song together. And from there, funny enough, we're right, just planning on making a beat. But sure, sure, sure. Sure, you know? I just want to switch out this, yeah. No stress, no stress. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, bro. So, if anything, that's exactly how we got into the music. And then, sure. you know, uh, funny enough, it grabbed me in a way I didn't expect. Like, I just started enjoying the process of making music so much sure. um, that I just kept on doing it. Um, yeah. But at the same time, I was dancing and I was working for a lot of artists, you know. Yeah. And, and the one moment for me that was like crazy was, you know, being on the road with Casper throughout sure. December. Mm -hmm. I think he had something like 60 shows in one month. This was like Shevaleza at its prime, you know. Sure, sure, sure. Hey, that was, yeah. that was, yeah, yeah, that was, and you guys probably were, every weekend was like this. Every day, bro. We're gigging on Mondays and Tuesdays, you know. Crazy, and crazy. I think if anything, that was where I saw. I was like, okay, like that vision I had as a kid, I'm like, mm -hmm. I was legit seeing Casper live it. You sure, 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 sure. Like, I'm like, yo, I just need to keep going with this music, you know? And, mm -hmm. and I guess that's how I got into the music, like, seriously. Sure, for sure, for sure. Now, you getting into the music industry, you know, I know that you're not... The culture, you know, you come from a Greek and a Portuguese family, you know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and I know that you... How is that at home, you know, how, you to choose this career, um, how is that adapting at home? You know what I mean? How has the culture been for you? Is it something that your parents are like, you know what, go ahead, do it, flourish and do your thing? Or was it a difficulty to try to convince your parents that, guys, listen, there's a future this side? Oh, no, it was, it was like, how can I put it? It was a bit of both, you know? Um, in school, when I was dancing, my mom was very supportive. You know, uh, the fact that I was doing something creative and I was good at it and, you know, um, I wasn't doing, I wasn't like a naughty kid, if that makes sense, you know, I was just, okay. I was doing, I was You know, you look like the naughty type. You look like the naughty type. I was, oh, I was naughty, bro. I was naughty because they were going to No, okay. You know? Okay, okay. You're a smart man. You're a smart man. <laughs> you know, so, sure, sure. Um, that, part, that part of the journey was like, was like, was dope, you know, to have my mom support that. Sure. And also like, my mom was very supportive of the friends I had, you know, no you know, so no that, no you no know, no. and especially like, I won't even lie in now spread, like racism is quite, it's quite hectic. Okay, know? okay. That's, so, that's, I mean, that's, that's tough. Yeah, like, I've, I, I, I don't know that, I don't know that. I've never been to now spread, so I don't, I don't know that, bro. I mean, like, I think it's a bit better now, but I'm sure if, yeah. if, if like back in the day, you could feel like a bit of that tension, you know, and sure, sure, sure. I, like I was just happy that my mom allowed me to like be friends with whoever I wanted to be friends with, you know. No doubt, no doubt, like, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So that and that, that made the journey. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Continue. 
Yeah, you know I'm saying that made the journey a bit like easier. Um, I think sure. the difficulty came when I left high school. Okay. Uh, I left high school maybe four months, five months after after matriculating. I moved to Johannesburg. Sure. You know, and my mom was beefing, bro. She was beefing because it was like, yo, like her, her youngest son is now sure. going to the sure. city. And she, sure. and I was actually born in Johannesburg, and then at okay. age two, age two, I moved back to Nelspruit. Okay, you know? okay, okay, so okay. Me coming here, my mom obviously grew up this side. She knows, like she knows the sure, you know? sure, sure, sure. So that was very hard uh, to convince, um, and I think the changing moment was when I was dancing, when I finally got my own apartment, and she saw me at like age twenty, fully furnished apartment. You know, working and like paying my own bills and doing my like you know doing this sure, myself. Do your thing, do your thing now. That's sure. when she like yeah, she was like you know what actually. It's crazy. Know, it's crazy. You know, it's it's crazy how parents always feel about um specifically about our industry when we you know uh, try to I and mean, tell them that yeah we're deciding to go this route and how they get so worried about it and when they you actually show them that yo I can actually do this thing they. Take yeah. a seat, sit back, and be relaxed. You know. At the end of the day, I don't blame them, bro. I yeah. don't blame them. Yeah. It's yeah. difficult, bro. No. It's hectic. There's yeah, so no. there's so many things I've gone through, and even just like in general, even today, right? For example, I think it was yesterday. Um, there was something I was doing. Uh, I was trying to get uh, apply for like this this laptop that I want so I can get my production game up. Sure. Um, and I had to send a payslip. You know, <laughs> I don't got no payslip, bro. You sure, know? sure, um, sure, sure. I mean, and like at the end of the day, my my statements or whatever might show that like I'm able to pay for this thing, but like mm -hmm. at the end of the day, in the real world, without a sure. steady payslip or steady income, people are like they really like they call it. Every yeah, 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 yeah. No doubt, no doubt. Well, man, talking about you know the relationship with your parents how's the relationship in the industry with you now transition from being a dancer now to being this rapper and i'm sure yeah. you know you're always whispering to people like yo i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this and people are like ah whatever and now yeah. you, and then you go you drop your single and then there's a bit of noise and then boom push up press up teaching Okay, let's do it like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, so how how how's, how's 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 that now, man? How's it been? It's a lot better now than it was, bro. Okay. You know, back okay. in the day, and I, you know what? I don't blame I don't blame the artists because mm -hmm. I wasn't there yet. You know what I mean? True. But back then, it was a situation of like, why are these guys pushing me? to like keep dancing and like mising the music all the time. You know, mm -hmm. I couldn't understand because obviously, you know, when you're passionate about something, you're going to believe it's the best. You it does. You're going to listen does. to your own vibes and you're like, yo, I got the hardest song right now, you know? Sure. But like, sure. yo, there's just so much more to learn. Even to this day, I'm still learning, you know? I'm actually only learning properly how to operate like on the business aspect of music now. Because mm -hmm. I'm finally crossing mm -hmm. those parts where a brand calls you, and when the brand calls you, they say something. You need to know how to respond in a certain sure, sort of way. Sure, 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 you know, sure, sure, uh, sure, when sure. When a record label approaches you, I've had so many labels approach me, you know, and now mm -hmm. it's like understanding that they all gonna approach in the same manner and waiting for someone who's actually gonna be willing to hear what I really want and sure, uh, and sure, like sure, sure. me in that aspect, you know, so. Mm -hmm. There's on, the only way to go through it is to go through it. You know what I mean? No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. There's there's no other way you're gonna learn as yeah. well. Yeah. No doubt. And Galagata, it's been crazy, man. It's been crazy. Um, the features you got one of the two heavyweights yeah. in SA. You know what I mean? So in Africa, two heavyweights. worldwide, two heavyweights. Two heavyweights. Yes. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Excuse me, three heavyweights. 
Yes, sir. Because, you know, we're also not you. We're also not you, Pa. There's nothing for you, Pa. You know what I'm saying? Um, but how was that experience? How did you get those two guys to be on your song, man? Like, that's, that's, Bro, that's big time. A dream come true, dog. No doubt. Like, no fucking doubt. Excuse I, my French. <laughs> nah, it's chill, dog. Um, yeah, bro, like, I mean, I've, I've known Ricky for years, bro, you know, and it's always just been like, yo, what's up, bro, you good, type of situation, follow each other, but nothing like, not business, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was just like, through the industry, just like, you know, that's how we knew each other. Sure. And, you know, for him to turn around and just like, start promoting this song of mine on his stories, you know, without me even asking, like, that's love. That's love, it's, man. Bro, I like that's love. I Shout out. I can't even explain the impact I witnessed on my social media, bro. Like how my social media numbers, like just refreshing my profile views, the works, the blogs, Crazy. everything just happening off of someone sharing on their story, dog. Yeah. You know, hey, those cotton You know those cotton interfaces, those ones. Bro. But Yo. you get what I mean in the aspect sure. of like, you didn't have to. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. You, you really didn't have to. And that that for me was just like, you know, like I'm forever grateful for that, bro. Forever mm. grateful, you know. That's basically the starting point. That's how the flame like started as to like, yo, we need this remix, you know. Um, and it started coming from the fan side, on my side and on Ricky's side. Like they were both getting, we were both getting us, you know. Um, so yeah, eventually uh, I hit him up, we had a FaceTime, and he was like, yo, send it to me. And even when I sent it to me, he was like, yo, I'm not making any promises. Sometimes, no, no, no. Sometimes you, you like a song, but like, you just can't jump on it. And sometimes mm -hmm. you will find mm -hmm. a way to jump on it. You know what I mean? It needs to make sense. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, you know, so that happened. It's okay to um, be a fan of a song and not have to yeah. jump on it. Yeah, exactly. You know, sure. Um, and thank God, he, like he did, bro. You know, um, also him bringing me out to the shows, like without no that doubt. happening, the connection with AKA wouldn't have happened, because that happened backstage. You know, mm. um, the conversation happened with AKA because he had posted on his stories as well. You know, mm. Mm. and then that's when the conversation between us happened, and AKA was like, "Yo, I know you're gonna work on a remix, so if you do, just hit me up." You know, and for me, bro, I won't even lie, dog, like, just being in that position and hearing those words from both Ricky and AKA, it really just, like, it it shocked me, bro. I couldn't believe that I'm in that position right now where these guys want to work, you know, because literally a month prior to that or two months prior to that, like, they didn't even, like, they weren't even, like, Gavi. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I feel you, dog. I feel you. That's powerful, yeah. man. The, uh, and and you independent when you talk yeah, about record labels, like they've been approaching you. But are you gonna do the the independent way? How you how you gonna go about it? I'll be frank, bro. There's nothing a label can offer me right now that I'm not doing myself. Sure, sure, yeah, sure. And I I heard it, a rumor it, that there was you had an offer in LA. Yeah. Was well, you had a record? I, Tell I, me about I, that. I, okay, so yeah, so basically about, I'd say, a year and a half before in Sure. Um, I, went, I was, like, working with this influencer from the States, and um, he basically has this dance move that is, like, be, like, people all over the world are doing the dance, but to different music, right? So the one day I went to the studio, we made the song, right, for the dance, and mm -hmm. then I DM, I DM him a video of me doing his dance with the song. And I just say, yo, bro, finally, your, um, your fans will have a song they can dance to, you know? Sure, sure. And, bro, two weeks later, I was flown out to LA. What? Yeah. That's, that's crazy. How quick, that's how quick, bro, you know? Um, so that's basically how it that came about because at that stage, you know, it was just constant talks. They wanted to like, maybe the, the influencer wanted to start his, um, uh, what's a label 
and then collab and signing with another label. Then there was talks where like actually like talking directly with those labels. Um, it was Atlantic Records and 300 Entertainment. But um, the conversations weren't coming directly to me. They were happening through his manager, you know. Okay. So, okay. yeah, man, I, a blessing and a curse, bro. I learned so much when I was in LA with um, with Wolf Graphic. The, those guys are amazing. Um, no but you know, I thank God I didn't sign, bro, because I'm here now, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at you now, man. Look at you now on your own at that, you know. Yeah. That's that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. So, a gift and a curse, and then you decide. You know what? You're gonna do it this side. Um, with you, because I know that you had a lot of following outside other countries, mm -hmm. but you're not getting too much traction when you were dropping your tracks here in South Africa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, how did you? go back to the drawing board and decide how you're going to maneuver your way again to infiltrate the South African market? Well, I mean, bro, like I said already, trial and error, dog. Mm. Trial and error. Um, and, that's, and that's where, like, my theory came into play, especially when I got back from LA. You see, when I was in LA, né, I literally, I stayed in like a house with maybe like 10 comedians, right? They're social media influencers, but they're also comedians, right? And every single day, I'd see these guys wake up, right? And legit, like, they would, they would shoot a skit, edit the skit, post it online, and I'd see them go viral, right? <laughs> like, before my eyes, I'm watching these guys, yeah. they, work, they work ethic, bro, like, and like as a team, you know, so it'll be like, yo, um, I want you in my next skit. So you act in my next skit. We get the other homie to shoot. Then next thing I'm acting in your skits. You know what I mean? Like, and vice yeah, versa, all yeah. just helping each other. But like every sure. single day, I was there for five weeks. And in those five weeks, I spent three days at the crib. All, every other day, we're doing something, you mm. know? And that's when I realized, like, the mindset, bro, like, I came back home and I realized that, wait, like, we're sleeping on the job, you know? There's so much more effort that can be done in the smallest ways to impact and grow our brands, you know? Sure, and, sure, and that sure. side, that side, they were busy saying, yo, that um, Instagram followers is equivalent to money. And I was like, what? Because I'm like, wait, how are you getting all these people on your set for free? And it's like, nah, because I tag them. And when they mm. I do their stuff, they tag me. You know, so we're mm. sharing each other's mm. followers. Our followers are getting to know one another. You know? Sure. So I started understanding more about the whole branding aspect and how to, like, navigate on social media. And when I got back, I would, I would always just hit up Vader. And I'd be like, yo, bro, I want to push. But, like, what do you think? And he'd be like, yo, man. Just keep, stick to your dancing, do this, do that, you know, make it, you know, spice it up a bit. And um, from there, we just kept growing our numbers on social media, you know. So that's how you um, started with your fan base. That's where it actually started, you know. And sure, sure. Kept doing that, kept dropping. And also the other thing was now when we're dropping, we're basically like paying attention to like, yo, okay, when I dropped like these five songs, these three did well. Those two did it. You know, mm. and that's mm. where like it comes. It's like, as an artist, like you know how they say artists sell their souls, like you sold your soul type thing. For me, yeah. For me, I'd say that is getting a hit. Okay. Once you gonna hit okay. record, once you're gonna hit record, you sold your soul, right? Mm -hmm. And the reason I say that is because now you've got a demand for your product. You got to sure. keep giving it. Definitely. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Definitely. Definitely. And that's where I realized, like, that's where, I don't know, like, the switch went off. Like, okay, fine. Give the people what they want, you know? So every time I drop, pay attention to what they want, pay attention to what they want. Keep doing it, keep doing it, and it kept going, kept going, kept going. And then eventually, we did it, and before we even dropped it, we knew that, okay, shit, this one has to take. Sure, 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 yeah. sure, 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 sure. And it, and it took, bro. 
You know, Yo, that's, how, that's how Galagatsa came about, bro. You, you've got one of the, 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 the biggest fans. Like, your fan base is, is quite hectic, man. So, really, shout outs for you for doing that yeah, groundwork. You know I what I mean? Like, like, Thank you, bro. I feel like a lot of artists need to do it, though, you know? Um, and I think, if anything, bro, it's just really like, I don't know. There's just a special connection with me and the Tish Gang, bro. It's like, sure, sure. It doesn't, oh, that's, it doesn't what, that's what we call them Tish Gang, Tish Gang. Yeah, bro. What <laughs> up, it, doesn't what happen, up. it doesn't happen overnight. That I can tell you, bro. Sure, I mean, our, sure. first, our first WhatsApp promo group started with like maybe like 10, 15 people, bro. You know? Damn. And, and like, that's how we started growing like straight up like off of those people those 10 15 people spreading the music and grew and grew now it's at a point where like it's unmanageable like i can't even attend to the group as much because it's just too hectic like i'll go to my like on, my, on the phone that has the whatsapp groups i'll go on that sure. phone and it's like i'll be like two thousand messages that i need to open you know and that's and that's we've got we've got three groups on WhatsApp. You know, we're considering opening a fourth, but it was like, nah, three's enough for now. It's gonna you become know? too much now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. And then the single man with the uh, Ganja Beats and Fonzo. How's that going? How did that go about, man? That's uh, ish. Yeah. Ish. Yeah, man. I mean, for me, bro, it was a, it was a really dope um, experience. Um, I remember last year in Cape Town, um, uh -huh. Ganja Beats was like, yo, I see you in Cape Town. Pull up with the Red Bull Studios. You know, um, went through and, you know, we made Ish. And um, yeah, man, I'm always happy to see, like, when people, like, uh, really appreciate the song. Because, like, I'll be honest with you, like, I didn't really even like the song that much you know, at, at the beginning, you know, sure. and then they touched it and they like worked on it and like, they were like, yo, the song, the song, the song. I'm like, I bet, let's drop it, you know? And um, yeah, I'm just grateful that it's like, you know, it's, it's doing its rounds. I wouldn't say the song is like at the top of the charts, sure. but it's doing its sure. rounds, it's making enough noise on social media, you know, so. But I mean, even the time is weird for it, you know, I mean, you can't really be out there promoting it in the club, in the streets like that. You know what I'm saying? So right. it will take a little bit of momentum. You know, it won't be like the other ones, you know? Yeah, and that's the, that's the sad thing about this time. And it's like, you really have to like think maybe 10 times more about your next move because bro, sure. like for example, like this Corona and this like level down situation, right? Mm. Like. That legit made me say, "Fuck it, I'm not gonna drop my album, bro. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna continue working on the album. I'd rather give an EP." Yeah, rather, rather, because, rather. bro, like your your first your first album is so special. It's Definitely. so so special, Definitely. you know. And I need to be able to be on the streets. I need to go to the shows. I need to go to the so, interviews. I can't, I can't make that album as impactful just from the comfort of my home you know yes, and that's not to say that it's it's the the music's gonna lack it's to say that like yo when you're looking at an album you're looking at the entire body the whole work, of, the business yeah. push yeah there's, there's all there's so much i mean you have you been seeing the whole six nine and ariana grande sure, like, thing sure, going on sure, sure, you know? sure. and that's that's With the numbers and everything yeah 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 you know, yeah that's evident that like here like even in South Africa, we're dealing with that. All over the world, we're dealing with like how to push our stuff correctly, you know? So I feel like being able to go out and actually have a physical meeting with someone, uh, you know, get the right pluggers, the works, you know, to try and make it happen. That's no where God. it no needs God. to happen. So the album's definitely only coming once we're able to move properly. Bro. So Trish Gang, just hold on for a bit. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Tell me, how do you, I mean, for me to be even asking you this question is silly to be quite honest, because I, I always say, man, listen, if you're from South Africa and you're white, whatever, man, you need to know your vernacular. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but how did you manage to just be able to speak so well in vernacular? 
I'll be honest, bro. I still don't know how to speak fluently, dog. You know, and mm -hmm. I've, I've, still, I've said this in like countless Well, you told it to me, bro. Don't, I don't think you should say that no more. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. You know what I mean? You should just yeah, continue to be like, I know, you know I am, you know? And then you'll be like, you know. There's a, there's a level, like, there's a level that I wanted to be at, bro. Like, I wanted to be like, like 100% fluent, dog. Like, you know, I'm at the stage where, you know, I'm still asking, like, you know, my homies, like, I want to say this. What's going to be the best way to say it in Zoom? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and if anything, but at the same time, it's still like, it's, it's a blessing, bro, because like, okay, number one, I'm learning the language, all right, through music, all right? Then number two, the other side of it is, it's like, you know, you can't, how can I put it? The more people the more hands involved in your work, the more there is to eat. Mm. You understand? People mm -hmm. eat the other way around. You know, they're mm -hmm. like, nah, I need to stick to these bars. I'm going to write these bars by myself. But they dope for you. They're not dope for a hundred other people. You sure. understand? Sure, 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 You know, sure. so getting those different, like, um, how can I say, like, uh, opinions and you know the input into it input, yeah that yeah. input bro like it's really like evidence in the songs because the songs are coming out at a point where like I go back and I listen and I'm like damn like sometimes I still can't believe that I made in Kalagata you know what I mean it's like that's a bad bro that's you an made anthem. that song you know what I'm trying to say that's an anthem bro be proud of that product because that's a good product that you put out there you know what I mean thank um, you bro like to have the streets, like even for me, you know, I was like, what? On my timeline, the timeline is just going. I'm like, yo, let me peep out this video. This guy like I just, I can see it's been great. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like woo, the bounce, you know, the choreography, you still, I like that how you still, you know, in touch with that. You know what I'm saying? With the dancing, yeah, yeah. Part, you know? That you'll we'll never lose. That's that's just you, and the system in your uh, blood. Thank uh, you, bro. Thank you. But, but uh, man, I can say all I can say, man. From Urban Lifestyle, really all the best. Um, I hope this with this Corona, use it to make sure that you know you get the best out of it. You know. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. One more thing. What's the end goal for you? What's the vision? What's what is it for Costa that that he wants from all of this? Global superstar, bro. My dog. That's my it. dog. You're done. Finito. That's all I need, sir. That's all I need. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, my good sir. Well, all the best for the album. Please, I, well, if you're having a listening session, please do invite us. We'd love to be there. You know what I'm saying? Nah, to talk definitely. You, that. Gonna, you know what I'm saying? We're going to give an EP before that. But okay, I mean, cool, even with cool, the EP, cool. like what we've got please, so Please, man, whatever, whatever okay. that you have for us, for us to share with the people, you know what I mean? Please do give it to us, sir, you know? No, definitely, definitely. I won't lie. For the people here, I'm reading some of the comments here. One of the people have been asking, like, did you hit up Mishali or what? We'll talk about that the day. We'll talk about that the day. I hope we'll not keep you mad. Have a great evening. Thank you very right, much bro. again, yo. Sweet, man. Thank you for having me, bro. Bless up, King. Right. Peace, out. Peace out. Yo, and that's it, man. From us, Evan Lifestyle, <clears throat> we out. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Peace. Coop, coop, who they full of juice? Oh, my mom, cousin, I'm going to be a little bit. I'm going to be a Push up, press up. Oh, my mom, cousin, I'm going to be a little bit. Push up, press up, pan. Teaching color gut, wait. In color gut, wait. Teaching color gut, wait. In color gut, wait. Teaching color gut, wait. In color gut, wait. Teaching color gut.